Hi there. My name's Sunday Topper. And with the exception of about an hour's worth of gameplay, I'm going to most be doing a blind playthrough of Star Ocean. Like I said, I haven't really played this game before. About an hour's worth after I figured out the, the combat controls. And I play a rat boy named Radix. Original. This was a very popular game, especially back in the early 2000s, but like I said, I didn't really play it. I was doing other things, I just got out of high school, etc, etc. No need to rehash history. I imagine that is the Ocean of Stars. It's mostly translate. Now we're headed home. Would you like some coffee, Captain? Yes, I'd like that. Thank you. Why does the captain sound so muffled but she claimed through like a bell? Holy fuck, they have Death Stars. Captain, we just picked up a huge amount of unidentified energy. Where? Mark 301.209 in Sector Gamma. Listen here, Sector. Get it on the screen. An enormous shockwave is approaching. Feel the tip. It was as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in panic. It was suddenly silenced. What the hell? Stardate 346. Now, through an unknown force, a totally new age is about to begin. Is it God's will or the irony of fate? And still, mankind makes its way where no one has gone before. People say the universe is a star ocean. Well, he's not wrong. One of my favorite things to do during my days off is to just listen to a giant playlist of whatever scientific discoveries have been happening lately. So I did last weekend, for a couple hours at least. Black holes, neutron stars, magnetars. It's just insanely interesting to me. Ah, a man named Dorn. Man, it's quiet around here. Ah, and my hero. Yeah, but quiet also means peaceful. What do you think about Millie? Hmm, what do you mean? Gee, I wonder. This is just between you and me, but... She's so full of herself, and a tomboy, she sounds awesome already. On top of that, she's kind of stupid, a dumb, and a loudmouth too. Oof. And, <clears throat> and who are we talking about? I can't do a girl's voice that well, I guess. Um, um... You should be doing your job and not sitting around and talking. I told you, there's nothing to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm downgrading Thorne's voice to less intelligent sounding. 
Why don't you go on patrol or something? Here, I'll even come with you. Looks like I'm stuck. I get the feeling that Dorn isn't that bright. But like I said, I played for about an hour. I know he's not that bright. At least a little. Okay, let's go on patrol. But first, we have treasure. That's going to become insanely useful. Less so. Insanely useful. The last time I played through this opening cutscene, about an hour ago, it's just, it's such a good game, I wanted to do a blind playthrough of it. I used the bomb immediately on the first boss and killed him. I was like, oh, you're obviously the boss. Here, hold on to this. Kaboom. Dead. What's this? Hey, where's their tail? Did they like hide it to make themselves more aerodynamic or something? I know I've heard that in anime, but I couldn't begin to tell you what they just said. What I do know is it's in Japanese. There we go. I like it dark. As far as I can tell, special is where your abilities come in. You have short range, which is what the S stands for, and long range, which is what the L stands for. You'd be hitting the R or L button depending on what range you are, and honestly, the situation. Your items, yeah, we don't have any. Tactics. This is one of the more interesting parts of this. I usually have Dorn just take the initiative. Or at least I have in this opening scene here. Wait for your chance, protect allies, and protect yourself hasn't really come up. You personally control Radix, so he has no strategies. You are the strategy. God help us all. The order, which comes into direct play with formation. Every formation has a certain advantage to it. You can hide people in the back row, you can have two flat two rows, upper and lower. For start, I think I'll just stick with linear. Millie doesn't really even play a role in combat. I don't even think she appears in the combat. Equipped is pretty obvious. You have your weapon, your armor, your shield, your helmet, or lack thereof, your legs, and accessories. I haven't found any yet, even when I was playing uh, about an hour ahead of this. Skills. I am not exactly sure what this is, but I noticed that Radix here has only one. That's this. Two-handed sword style. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is about. I assume we'll find other styles, and then maybe we can switch to them, like a, a more aggressive or defensive style. Maybe something that's centered on movement or different sword swings. The sword swings are pretty basic. Dorn doesn't even have that. He just swings his sword like an idiot. We have no idea what Millie has. Doran has no abilities. He's kind of stupid. Wait, what's this intelligence? Eight intelligence. And look at that carefree face. Just doesn't give a shit. Oh god, we're actually dumber than him. Ugh. And he's got more stamina. Clearly the ladies love him. And I can't save. Down at the bottom of the screen, he sold full, which is money, and encounters, which is, well, what we're about to engage in. Let's kill some thieves. 
A brings up the target, or you can hit Y to free range. There it is. And that little cursor pops up, you can run around. Thorn's an idiot, but he does one thing well. Kill things. 60 coins, 2 experience, and a blueberry. Aren't we rich? Let's do a more aggressive combat this time. A lot of combat seems to be rapidly tapping the A button, but you can switch targets pretty quickly when you see the four swords popping from the diagonals of the enemy. I assume that was a blueberry. Thief... Thief Bits? I guess that's his name. Boss Baird. Don't make me laugh. Just a couple of kids. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, I got something for you, Baird. We're not kids. You're kinda kids. You look like kids. You're in a JRPG. You're fucking kids. You'd be surprised. I'd honestly be surprised if you're older than 17. We're members of the Klatos Brigade. Don't be so stuck up. Oh god, he's dumber now. Just because you're in charge of a bunch of wimps. Yeah, you weaklings. What? What? What did you say? Let's get him, boss. Classic criminal voice. I got this. As far as I can tell, it's best to kill all the thieves first. And we're gonna ass it to us. And when you hit, uh, I think it's X, might be Y. Get your items, along with everything else that was in that list. Hey look, a flare bomb! We got something for you, boss. Bam! 412 damage, he disappears immediately, Thorn kills the last thief, we win. And we gained a level, along with a hell of a lot of blueberries. Did they raid our village for blueberries? Because that's all they had. That and some coins. Ah, thank you. He's slightly dwarvish. It was nothing, it's just what we do. Huh? Aren't you cool? That evening... The thieves came back and slaughtered us all. The end. That's probably not what happened. Your tea is ready! Please make yourself at home. I like tea. I hope it's red pepper tea. I love red pepper tea. Those thieves today were a piece of cake, wouldn't you say? That's Doran's voice now from the rest of the game. What are you talking about? They were pretty dangerous. That's why Millie didn't take part in any of the combat. Meanwhile, Radix is thinking about the horrible murders he just committed that evening. Radix, what's wrong? You don't seem very cheerful. I can't get the blood bits of that exploded guy off my jersey. It just won't wash out. The horrors. He's been like this lately. See you later! Job's done! <laughs> okay. Show us a happy face tomorrow, Radix. Thank you very much, ma'am. Come back again! 
But meanwhile, Radix found an eyeball stuck in his hair from the exploded boss. My god, I, th I just threw that bomb at him. I didn't even hesitate. Because being quiet means it's peaceful. When I'm not chucking bombs around. Don't you need to go to work soon? Ah, fuck. Maybe if I just pretend I'm sleeping. Ah, damn it. Hey, wake up! I guess I'll wake up. Ah, oh, fuck. Be careful, Radix. I said I'll be okay. I'll also try my do my best for Dad, too. And besides... After we just exploded that guy yesterday, I mean, who the hell's gonna attack this town again? Honestly, we're still cleaning up the mess. I've been through here before, I don't think anyone does anything special. Since you're the one to ensure the safety of the town, you need to have weapons equipped at all times. I'm not gonna sell you any, though. Fuck off, Radix. You didn't sell anything. Huh? You're not with Millie today. Evidently not. Hey, good job with patrolling. Oh god. People think it's a good thing I explode others with bombs. How am I gonna live with myself? I still see the horror. His final moments flashing before my eyes. Oh, I haven't been to cool in a while. If you ever have to go north for some reason, tell him hello for me. Yeah, sure thing. Assuming I can get that final horror out of my eyes. The grocery store, where you also cannot buy anything. Radix, please tell your mother I have some fresh vegetables. Yeah, sure, okay. I wonder if we can actually... I'm so sleepy. I hate it when I wake up and Mom tells me to wake up. Okay. Just telling her that we hit. Ah, oh, I'll be damned. Oh really, I should go right away. And, or I should pace back and forth in front of the fire for a while. You know, whatever. But she will, but will she appear there in the store? I'll be goddamned. Oh, which one should I choose? I don't know. The same vegetables we always eat, I guess. And she doesn't sell. Why would she? We're just the heroes that save the town and everything. Sheena. Radix, if you're hurt, I'll heal you all up. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Well, there's a creepy. Sorry, kid. Eh, it's a bit too illegal. Billy's father. I'm worried about my daughter. All she does is play every day, and she doesn't keep up with her magic training. Now, oh, maybe Dorn was right. Maybe she is kind of stupid and stuck up with herself. I mean, she's a mage. That is a hallmark of magic users. Unnecessary pride. Item store girl Sophia. I will learn to learn how to cook. But I also like metallurgy. I also want to try playing a musical instrument, but I don't think I have the talent for it. You can cheer her up, or you can leave her alone. Let's be the cheer up guy. It's not like it's not like you give up. If you try hard, you might find you have a hidden talent. And this is the game telling you to try interesting and new things because let me see X. You'll find that you have talents. These are randomly selected at the beginning of the game because they were different last time I looked at this on the other plate. 
the ability to accurately grasp music rhythm, having natural originality. As far as I can tell, he always gets that one. But the rest of it is random. You can also change his name. And I might do that later. We'll change his name to Rat Boy. That seems fitting. We're gonna go south. We're gonna slack off and not go to work. And we're gonna do it for the, the best reasons of all. Treasure. Because if you don't do it now, I'm not sure if you ever get the chance to. Barker. I wasn't expecting a 3 on 1. Yes, Redix. Brutally murder everyone within your path. Don't think about why they're thieving or their desperate situation. Slaughter them all. And you get money you can't spend. Oh, and we get our first skill. Er, special, I guess. See how the long range is empty? This is a short range ability. It creates a shockwave around you. You swing your sword and little sparklies appear. And anything around you dies. Horribly. Or not. Hmm. Treasure. Necklace obtained. I didn't get this last time. A beautiful sapphire necklace. I'll give that to Millie when I get her in my party, which happens fairly certain, fairly quickly. But what else is over here? Can I get up there? A wolf hound. That thing is a problem. That thing has a charge up ability, and if it pulls it off the charge up, <laughs> if it charges up and then hits you, it hits you for like 70 damage. And yes, right at the beginning of the game, when you have about 150 to 200 hit points, that becomes a problem very quickly. I haven't decided on what the video length of this should be. I suppose I should wrap it up in about. 25-ish? That sounds good. Mostly I'm just anxious to get back to where I was. Bugger. At least they're funny thieves. They die with a smile on their face. Ah, shit. I see, you see how he's... Yeah, there it goes. Once he completes that little charge up, do not let that thing hit you. He will rip on your goddamn jugular. Anyways, I suppose we should go to work. I haven't been to cool in a while. Yes, 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 I'll tell him. They don't really expand on what they say until a little later. You're late again, Radix. Dorn already went inside. Well, what's Dorn up to? I bet it's something stupid. And we'll find out next time. See ya, Space Cowboy. <laughs>